Howdy fellas, uh, the next step I went to in the build is uh, the trigger guard. I wish I'd have showed you a good close up of this before I started working on it, but uh, it kind of had the texture on the surface. It looked like real coarse sandpaper. It was the best adjective I can come up with for it. So what I did, I took a uh, single cut mill file and started working on that and uh, getting a lot of that out of it and then I went to a, a piece it's what I call crocus cloth it kind of looks like a little fine wire mesh with a sand in it so I worked on that with that and then I went to 60 grit sandpaper <clears throat> and then 80 grit and then 120 grit once I got it kind of looking like I wanted it to I went to a scotch bright and then to find steel wool so I kind of kept it in a way <clears throat> looking like the old uh, Ford stuff because realize this is an uh, investment cast steel. The originals would have been made out of uh, forged iron or iron, you know, hand forged iron. And uh, I want to kind of keep that look somewhat on that. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, I'm waiting on a uh, toe plate for this thing. It doesn't come with one. But right back here at the back of the stock, you know, it comes to a real sharp point, and I noticed already in shipping and handling, there's a little bit of chip back there, so I'm waiting for that part to get in here and see if I can put that toe plate on it and just pegging right along, slowly but surely. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Keep your powder dry. Mind you, top-knot pilgrim.